What is a miracle? Mother Teresa said this to me. And you heard me right, this is not a metaphor. I did not see Mother Teresa in my dream, I did not summon her spirit with black magic. Mother Teresa actually talked to me. In real life. It was many many years ago, I was a child, maybe five or six years old. I knew who Mother Teresa was at the time I met her, I went to a Catholic school and we had a lecture on the works of Mother Teresa. These days we remember her as a super celebrity, but remember, back in the days, Mother Teresa travels the world a lot and often visit the poorest part of a city, she would often appear at a church unexpectedly, with less than a week of notice. While meeting Mother Teresa was certainly a highlight of anyone's life, it was not difficult to meet Mother Teresa if you really want to meet her, in fact, a lot of people have met Mother Teresa. She was a very unassuming lady. I remember her traveling with an entourage, like a few nuns who dressed like her, and there were some heightened security around us that day, but for a lady of her status, I remember her as very genuine and unassuming. She attended our Sunday afternoon mass, the church was packed, for some reason, our family were able to sit in a front row seats. At the end of the mass, Mother Teresa gave a talk, that which I had absolutely no memory on what she said. At the end, she allowed people to ask questions. Me being this super cute and fat boy, was selected as one of the lucky few to ask her a question. Even back then I knew how to get my way with my good looks. But I digress. When I was my turn to walk up to the microphone, I asked the Holy Mother, what is a miracle? I remember Mother Teresa just gave me this very gentle look, then very softly and slowly told the following story. She was on a mission in the remote part of India. A very sick person in her camp was dying from a rare disease. The patient needed this one medicine urgently so he can live long enough to be evacuated. The patient was going to die if he does not receive this highly specialized medication within a few hours. The situation looked dire, so Mother Teresa and her friends gathered to pray for a miracle. At the same time, a shipment of donated medicine just arrived. When a box of donated pills arrived, it's not sorted, it's mostly left over stuff from hospital and clinics, completely disorganized, in a giant mess. They barely have a doctor in the region let alone a professional pharmacist to sort out a giant box of random pills, Mother Teresa then said, the bottle of pill which that patient urgently needed, a rarely prescribed medicine, was sitting right on top of the pile when they opened the box, the pill bottle clearly labeled and ready to be used. The medical staff were able to administer the medication in a timely fashion, saving the man's life. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's a miracle, according the world's most magnificent miracle lady ever lived. When most people make a wish for healing, either for themselves or others, they expect an angel reach inside their body and all of a sudden they are healed completely. They even expect a beam of light from the sky shining on the parts that hurts. Just like the movies. While that could happen, most of the medical miracles don't happen that way. A medical miracle could be meeting the right doctor at the right time, or a random search of the internet giving you clues on how to better manage your health condition, or you accidentally came across a diet or supplement that greatly improve your quality of life while you were fighting a specific illness. It could be just as simple as a flash of insight. A lot of times it would feel like you've done all the work, that when you are healed, you believe you've done this all by yourself, but in actuality, the spirits were behind the scene, working in very subtle ways, making small arrangements to deliver your miracle. Also, more often than not, most people don't recognize a miracle at the time the miracle was happening, but only years later, when you add up all the improbable coincidence that needed to happen to keep you well and alive at that critical moment, you realize there were forces at play at those moment, forces that are too powerful for humans to comprehend. I have a few other miracles to share on a later date. I also want to hear about your medical miracle. Was there a time when you experienced a miraculous medical outcome, where the only explanation was a spirit intervention? Please share your story to the comment section below.